food manufacturers put it in everything. It's been called addictive, and it's in almost everything we eat. Added sugars, hidden sugars, where is it lurking? The added sugar. Sugar. What's up, everyone? Wait, that sounded very much like prank invaders. What up, invaders? And I don't want to be associated with that. <laughs> so let's talk about sugar. Sugar is a huge part of our lives. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but when we talk about added sugar, it can get pretty scary. And I read your guys' comments. Um, a lot of you guys wanted me to do more longer challenges. So my first challenge is Candice goes 30 days without sugar. I will only be eating natural sugars. And you know, we are in an epidemic. I'm gonna be dramatic so that I can get more views. So much sugar is being added to our food. You'll see that you have a lot of added sugar in cheaper peanut butters. A lot of protein bars have upwards of like 15 to 20 added grams of sugar. The average person is really supposed to have max 25 grams of added sugar per day. And you're probably thinking, whoa, that's a good amount. Wrong. There's a lot in salad dressings, ketchup, all processed foods, a lot of like frozen dinners. It sucks because it's a lot of the times in cheaper foods and it kind of gives flavor to cheaper foods. And another trick is that a lot of low fat foods actually replace their flavoring with more added sugar. When I worked at BuzzFeed, one of the writers um, went on a weight loss journey, but she also did 30 days without added sugar. And I really wanna try that too, because it's been scientifically proven that sugar is an addiction and can be an addiction and we can crave it and it can have a psychological effect on us and um, really affect our mood. I have looked at all the snacks at work um, and I can't have anything. The one thing I can have is Cheez-Its. So shout out to Cheez-Its for not having added sugar. There's over 60 names for added sugar. Um, I guess I'll put a little blurb here, but I think this will be a challenge. And I am going to really focus on no sugar desserts, no sugar added snacks, look at recipes for that as well. And overall, I just wanna see how I feel. Did I forget to mention that no sugar means no sugar alcohols? RIP Halo Top, no Quest Bars. Um, I can't have gum technically or mints. <sighs> okay, I've talked to you all. Here we go. Oh look, added sugar. Oh look, added sugar. Added sugar. And then, actually Larbars did not have added sugar. This peanut butter, added sugar. We've got these little chips down here, added sugar. Barbecue sauce, added sugar. I hate everything. I finally found a protein powder without added sugar. <laughs> it's this designer protein designer way. It doesn't taste too bad. I don't know, man. I'm just like, it's weird. It's like my head hurts. I'm irritable. I didn't realize how reliant I was on my daily like little sweet treat. And now that I can't have it, it's like, I don't know, it's affecting me emotionally, which is so stupid. I knew that this would happen is that your body's kind of like resetting. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of like down. So I'm in the process of making this no sugar apple crumble and not gonna lie, it looks pretty bomb. All it is is apples, cinnamon, uh, almond flour, crushed up almonds, and coconut oil. And I think it's gonna taste pretty good with, you know, all the sugars are all naturally right here. Candace can't have my cake. It's Brittany's birthday today <laughs> and they have a really cool cake and I can't have it, so. <laughs> it's a pineapple, a pinapile. I'm currently in the process of making no sugar added Greek yogurt, blueberry, lemon cake, and it smells real nice right now, and I'm really proud of myself because it's looking pretty good. Hopefully it tastes good. And it is looking good, firm, juicy. You bought me this. You don't want any of this? This I is amazing. Look how good this is. I want it. 
So I essentially just made a wet log, AKA my own personal energy bar. <laughs> it looks so ugly. Pistachios, coconut, oats, and a little bit of olive oil. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. Okay, it does look better. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Bottoms up. Actually, not that bad. It tastes like an unsweetened oatmeal cookie mixed with a Mounds bar minus the chocolate. Or wait. Week three, okay. Abs coming through. Well, not really, but pretty cool, right? I think the cravings are finally <laughs> subsiding. It's amazing. I have so much energy, it's bizarre. I don't have that weird crash in the afternoon and I no longer really crave, you know, that after meal chocolate or anything like that. And I feel really good and I'm like, I'm starting to get really proud of myself. I'm feeling just more clear headed, which is very bizarre. Oh, one more thing. Also, I have a facial today and I am popping a piece of gum. I'm sorry, I know it has, you know, added sugar alcohols, but I do not want stank breath up in here. I am making some great food right now. I made some salmon and then I made some uh, zoodles and vegetables with a tomato sauce that was no sugar added. So I'm gonna put that right here, which is pretty rare. I've been eating this breakfast in the morning, which probably sounds really gross to you, but it's called a <laughs> banana egg pudding. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting desperate here. It's eggs, banana, and I think like a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg and that's all you do and you whip it together and it kind of turns into this custardy souffle. <laughs> I'm working with what I have. Hello everyone, welcome back. This lighting is nice. Ooh, I'm digging it. We made it. I made it. I don't know, did you make it? <laughs> 30 days with no sugar. Damn. I did it. I feel very good. I'm really proud of myself. I'm no longer craving it, and my energy levels for working out are great, and it essentially just kind of made me start clean eating. And so. I took before and after pictures. Here's my before, here's my after. And I really saw a big difference. Yes, my underwear is pulled up a little bit in the other picture. So, you know what? However, you might say that it's photo manipulation, but I lost an inch and a half in my waist and two and a half inches in my hips, which is overall <laughs> to calculate that. It really forced me to get to know my ingredients and get to know what is in my food. There's so many, like some things I was looking at had five different types of added sugar and I don't know why. It's kind of scary that they find ways to sneak in added sugar. A great thing that has been happening by the FDA, I'm seeing it more in California because everyone's like freaking all healthy and liberal out here. Not, not that that's bad. On a lot of your food labels, you'll start seeing total sugar and then total added sugar. So you can take that into account. I really challenge you guys to try this. I think it's definitely worth doing and don't like kill yourself over it. Counting every calorie and everything, but it just made me more aware of how much sugar I was actually ingesting per day. And that's what's, what was so scary. I'm gonna, it's like getting too bright. I, uh, it's, it's really starting to get scary because of how diabetes is on the rise in, especially youths, youths in um, America. And it's, it's pretty big that we need to kind of look at what goes into our food. And look, if you want to enjoy a piece of cake, you enjoy a piece of cake. Just don't have it every day because then you'll probably not feel very good. But am I excited to eat a little bit of Halo Top after this? Yeah. 
Will I probably get sick after eating some sugar again? Probably. I also want you guys to let me know what you want me to try for 30 days. It doesn't have to just be a diet. It can be an exercise. It can be um, even a beauty routine. And look at how bright my breasts are getting. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's my cue to leave. Yeah. Guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Stay happy and stay healthy. And I'll see you next time.